a 94 year old man with multiple comorbidities and a history of endovascular stent graft placement five years prior for a thoracoabdominal aneurysm presented with vague abdominal pain, tachycardia, tachypnea, fever and hypoxemia. CT scan showed an infected aneurysm with no contrast extravasating into the sac. Blood cultures returned with bacteroids fragilis. A minimally invasive approach was undertaken. CT scan of the abdomen in coronal view shows the stent grafts in place with surrounding infected aneurysm. Similarly, in the transverse view, the stent grafts and infected aneurysm are seen. Illustratively, we can see the aortic stent graft in place with surrounding excluded infected aneurysm. An endoscopic ultrasound was performed and the infected aneurysm could be easily demonstrated adjacent to the vascular aorta. A 19 gauge needle was advanced through the esophageal wall into the aneurysm. A guide wire was inserted through the needle and allowed to coil within the aneurysmal sac. Over the guide wire, an electrocautery enhanced delivery system containing a self-expandable lumen opposing metal stent was deployed across the esophageal wall and into the aneurysm. This endoscopic view is taken immediately after placement of the stent, and a large amount of pus is seen to pass from the aneurysmal sac into the esophageal lumen. Collected pus also grew bacteroides fragilis. Over the guide wire, a 10 mm balloon dilator is passed. Expansion of the balloon is performed. After removal of the balloon, the endoscope is passed to the opening of the esophageal stent where the aortic stent graft can be seen inside the infected aneurysm. The patient experienced a marked clinical improvement within 12 hours. Follow-up CT scan performed 48 hours after stent placement revealed the lumen opposing metal stent in good position in the aneurysm adjacent to the aortic stent graft.